What challenges have come crashing into your life through the COVID-19 pandemic? Working from home, isolation, homeschooling, financial pressure, caring for vulnerable relatives, missing people, fear of sickness, loss of a loved one. Any one of these things brings its own pressure, but given that many of these things are coming like wave after wave, one after the other, is it any wonder that sometimes we feel like we can't get our head above water? All the uncertainty we find ourselves experiencing and our inability to talk to others about what we are facing can seem overwhelming at times, leaving us feeling like we are drowning, exhausted and anxious about what might slip away from our grasp next. Do you ever have moments where you've reached your limits and feel like you're sinking? Does it sometimes feel like there's so much change in life right now that it's hard to be sure about anything? Have you ever wished there was a way you could feel like your life was more secure? Perhaps just now, we all feel a bit like a boat that's being tossed about by the wind and waves, completely at the mercy of the storm and chaos all around us. But what if it didn't have to be like that? What if this boat had an anchor that keeps it safe through the storm? The Bible borrows this image of an anchor to picture the hope that Christians find in God. So what is this hope that can keep our lives firm and secure? And wouldn't we like to have it just now? This hope is founded in our lives being connected to God, a God who is unchanging, a God who always keeps his promises, a God who loves us and stepped down into the uncertainties of life when he came into the world in Jesus. He made himself vulnerable. He encountered anxiety. He faced a fearful death on the cross as he took on the rescue of a world gone astray. And he overcame all of that, rising again from the dead, returning again to heaven to get a grip on life's messiness, inviting us to steady the ship of our lives by depending on him for everything. One day Jesus will return in victory and all uncertainty, fear and anxiety, even death, will be driven out of our lives and world. But what about here and now? Anchoring our life to Jesus and God's promises doesn't mean that the storms of life will disappear or that we can expect everything to be plain sailing from now on. The boat will still be tossed about by the changing winds of the storm. We still have to face our fears and anxieties like everyone else. But under the surface, we have a deeper security and hope by knowing our lives are ultimately anchored to Jesus and safe in God's hands. Would you like to have that sort of steadying influence in your life? Might you be sensing the need for a hope like this that exists beyond your own ability to manage everything? Have you ever taken the time to properly explore what Christians believe, the life of Jesus, what he said and what he offers to you? Perhaps you could start today by speaking to someone you know who is a Christian or contacting a church near where you live.